Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is week three of Dungeon 23. You can now see the map as it has begun to develop. This is the first level of Dane's Watch. There's going to be one more zone that's going to actually be a, a little bigger and somewhere in here we need to locate a stairway. I might go back and put that in another room if I can't. If nothing randomly rolls up so far, nothing has. We're generating all these rooms using random die rolls, mostly either from the Dungeon Master's Guide First Edition or from the Dungeons, what is it, Adventures Deep and Dark, uh, random dungeon generator. Um, and that's, I, I don't know, that may start to become problematic. I'm starting to struggle with keeping within a theme while also doing the random rolls, and I'm not sure that I succeeded that well at this one. Um, our first zone was down here is the gatehouse. Our second zone was in here. This is the stars theme, and you can see all the pentagrams that are teleporters. Um, and Kiavar gave me a really cool idea, which is that since one of the teleporters in here is named after a demon, maybe all of them are named after demons, and some of their, each one of these leads you to a level where all of the followers on that level are the followers of that demon or something like that. So we might do that. Uh, there are six of them and 12 levels, so it won't obviously be every level. Um, but that's a really cool idea. This next zone, Zone 3, uh, which is the third week of Dungeon 23, is the theme of light. And I really struggled with that because the random generator wasn't giving me anything to work with, really, except the very first um, corridor here, K, um, is actually a... This is the, we're going down a ruined corridor. So what I decided with the theme of light is that all of these rooms are broken and you can... The light is coming in from the outside, so like you wouldn't need a torch to explore. Most of the ceilings are gone and the rooftops. And this corridor has no ceiling. And so uh, the wall is kind of crumbled, and it's possible to walk along the top of the walls. And that's actually important because, K, in this corridor, there is a wall of green flame, magical in nature, going from wall to wall. Touching it or crossing it causes 2d6 of fire damage. This is in Suede. Uh, with a 1 in 6 chance of get catching fire, and then it's 2d6 per round until it's put out. It's magical, so it can be dispelled with magic, um, or it can be gotten over by climbing on top of the walls, since there's no roof, You're sort of parkouring over the wall or whatever. So it's an athletics check to get up, an athletics check at minus 4 to balance along the top, and no athletics check to drop down, because it's not that high. So they would have to climb up go across and drop down. If they want to do that, if they don't want to put out the fire. It can't be put out with water or something because it's a magical fire. Don't know who put it there. Maybe one of the demons? Don't know. It wasn't certainly protecting much over here because actually the die rolls weren't very friendly to me and I didn't find a lot. This is sort of the rat area and not where rats. Um, 15. Uh, this is rolled up as a training hall. Um, so this is an area where the troops would train, and so there are bro broken, like, training dummies and that sort of stuff. There's a salty, wet smell in here, and the ceiling has numerous holes and cracks, and there's rubble all over the ground. And within the rubble is a nest of three dire rats, and they've got 12 silver coins and three copper coins in their nest. And they will defend it. Um, if they search through the rubble with a notice check on a raise, they will find five usable arrows. Everything else is broken. Um... The north door is the only intact door. These other doors, I rolled up, like, I was rolling on D12 and anything over in 7, I think. It's just a broken door um, in this particular area. I just arbitrarily decided that. And so most of these rolled up, a lot of these rolled up as broken doors, as you can see. And in this area, the only one that's actually a solid door is the north door, which is trapped. Um, and uh, that does a half moon blade on a chain that comes swinging down to slice you and does 2d6 damage AP1. Um, room 16 is the was the, the officer's barracks. Um, there are two high quality beds on each wall, mostly rotted. And, um, but I rolled up randomly from, I don't know, it was, I can't remember his tone of the adventure design or what it was, that there's a spider, a carving of a spider with the legs reaching the walls and the corners um, in the floor carved very uh, carefully gives the impression of sitting in its web waiting for prey now the spider doesn't do anything but if you make an occult check or if you possess and have looked for the book of demons which was found in uh, the library over here right you can discover that um, this is 
an image of the demon queen of spiders named Vargathax. No, sorry, Vargraxath. Yikes. Uh, Vargraxath dwells in Zebralar, the realm of everlasting shadows, and is also the queen of deception. But I don't know who worships her yet. Um, we'll find out. So that's room 16. Room 17 is weapon storage. Um, most of the weapons are cleared out, but there are 2d6 usable arrows and 2d4 usable crossbow bolts in here among the broken stuff. Um, room 18 was a barracks. This one up here. So the officers were down here and the men were here and they did a training. They had a training hall in here. So that, that reasonable. Some of this was random rolls. Some of it I just said, okay, it's logical. The barracks here. I can't remember which was which. The officers one I think was random roll and I just when I saw the size of this room, I said, well, okay, this is probably the regular barracks. Um, most of the uh, beds in here have fallen apart, and the footlockers are broken down and don't have anything. There are some rotted bed sheets and that sort of stuff. The sky is open. The, the ceiling is open to the sky, admitting all sorts of weather, and there's leaves and branches and so on. But also, there are carvings on the walls. Um, the carvings are ancient dwarven runes. If you know dwarven language... You can read that these are warnings against the presence of demons and cautions against daring to speak out loud the name of any demon lest tragedy befall you, right? And so what that means is, right, if you go over here and you speak this demon's name that's found in this library and you get teleported, you could go down three levels and be stuck in a really bad spot. And so this is sort of a warning for anyone who has found the names, right, of these two demons be careful when you say them, because if you say them while you're in the summoning circle, you're going somewhere else. I think that, that ended up being pretty cool, and um, some of it was a random roll. It was carvings that were warnings, um, and I added the whole thing about the presence of demon. The south door, of course, was trapped here from the other side. Uh, room 1-19, again, I randomly rolled an irregular thing, a giant octagon. I think it was actually supposed to be bigger than this, but this is what fit. Um... And this rolled up as a kennel or a breeding area for monstrous pets. So this is a kennel where they had fighting animals, such as fighting war dogs and stuff like this. Um, there are rusted cages along the walls, and the middle is stained with blood where the animals were fought against each other and trained for combat. The room is empty, but there are faded words carved into the wall uh, in common, still legible. It just says, the gods will grant me justice. Again, it's a random roll in the, I think it was the ultimate toolbox. Um, most of what's in here has been destroyed. The ceiling is broken and it's mostly open to the sky. There's some rubble on the floor, but not enough to account for the entire missing ceiling. Some of it is either crumbled to dust or has been removed somehow. Don't know how. Um, and, uh, and this door, by the way, was stuck, but not trapped. Uh, room 20 is heavy weapon storage. So these are like heavy crossbows and... Maybe small ballistae that were in here. Most of this is broken and not usable. And then this in here rolled up as a 10 by 10 foot room. And I wasn't sure what it would be. So I decided, okay, it's just a latrine like the privy over here. And, you know, there's some holes in the floor where, you know, the waste used to go. But that's all gone. And living among there is another or another three dire rats. Um, so this area just has a couple of rats. I'm not sure having the open ceilings open to the sky really fits with the light theme but i i wasn't sure what else to do with light in this particular spot i feel like the themes will work better once i'm down in the depths of the dungeon but up here some of them didn't really fit so well but i don't know maybe i'll come up with something more creative next time and speaking of that it's time to pick our theme for the next week and so we still have a bunch of them left we've only used three and i've shuffled the card so i'm just going to cut the deck Oh, hang on. I put the wrong deck. I'm using. I was using two decks of cards, a different deck for doing action cards for Savage Worlds. Let me grab the correct deck. And actually, this one does have to be shuffled. Um, the reason I need the special deck is because it's already got the used cards pulled out, um, and the Jokers pulled out. So since we're not using Jokers, so we've so far used the five, four, and six of Spades. Even though I like shuffled and everything, uh, and I'm shuffling again. Three. I'll shuffle three times. And then cut the deck. Um, all right. This time we get the three of diamonds, which is city. So that is the new uh, theme, is city. So um, 
that will happen over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do random rolls, but I'm also going to force it to join up over here if I can. And so this this section will be the end of this area. And somewhere in here we need stairs. So if I don't roll up any stairs or level transitions anywhere else, um, I mean, we do have this level transition here, but I think we need some actual stairs because it doesn't make any sense that they would build a stronghold without stairs to get into their own basement. And then we'll do the basement level, and that will be much more of a dungeon. Um, so our next theme is city, and until next time, I am Scrapperlock, and this has been Dungeon 23.